A major part of our life of faith is prayer, the way in which we communicate and relate to God, the way in which we love God, just as we love our family and friends and those that are around us. There's many misconceptions about prayer. One is that people think that they have to pray in a certain way, uh, that there's only one way to pray, or that they're not holy enough to pray, so they won't even start, or that they're not praying well enough. These are all misconceptions. What God desires is our intention, our love. Think of two people who sit down for a meal. They're not completely attentive to one another during the entire meal. They get distracted. They think about different things. But what's important is that their presence is there. Their intention to be in relationship is evident because they're actually there. That's what God wants from us. God wants that relationship, wants to draw closer in love. There's many different forms of prayer in our Catholic Church, and obviously our sacraments are a primary way in which we gather for communal prayer. There's many ways, though, for individual personal prayer. One way that I know I find very helpful for myself is kind of a uh, combination of a number of different elements. I'll start my individual prayer time, which I usually set out for about a half an hour a day at least. I find a quiet place and I do a morning or evening prayer which involves a scripture reading of the day, either from the Mass or part from the Gospel. I then use that Gospel reading or that scripture passage as my individual meditation, where after I've used the words for a little bit, I'll just sit still and listen to God. This takes some training and uh, discipline, but I'll use maybe one word or phrase from that reading, which is something we call Lexio Divina, and use that as a kind of pointer to keep me focused towards God when I find myself getting distracted in prayer. During that time of silent prayer where I'm just trying to rest in God, uh, it's like the Holy Spirit sifts in me and kind of lets go of all the different challenges of my day, the different hopes I have, distractions, and eventually kind of has it so I can rest in God's peace and God's will. At the end of my time of prayer, I'll do a simple little examination of conscience to prepare myself for the next day and to ask for God's help and forgiveness. I turn over all of my needs, all my concerns. I give God all the good things of my day, and I ask God to turn them into God's will. I then also turn over all of my challenges, and I ask that God will be with me in my challenges. At the end of that time, I offer all the prayers for all those who have asked for my prayer. And I offer them through the Our Father and through a Hail Mary and then the sign of the cross, and I go on my way. I find it very helpful to kind of bring all of these elements together because it makes it so that our prayer is not detached from our life. It's a way in which we can both speak to God and listen to God, a way in which we can bring our life into God's life and try to constantly do God's will. I'll speak more about other types of prayer in other video clips. God bless.